it's a System Max Venture. Ooh. System Max provided semi-custom computer systems back in the day. You started with a base system and configured it to your liking. This was built during the Windows XP era, so it's pretty ancient. This puppy was bought many years ago by my housemate, who was then upgrading from Windows 98 to Windows XP. It still has the old school parallel and serial ports, along with lots of USB ports. They might even be USB 2 ports. Mmm, Pentium 4 inside. Windows XP and ME compatible. They ordered Windows XP Professional to be extra professional. This was a hot little machine at the time. There's been a few changes. The Antec power supply is a replacement for the original, which died a horrible death. We need to use a funky adapter, a 20 pin on the power supply, to the 24 pin on the motherboard. Yeah, it's old. The graphics card and extra RAM were also upgrades to the system. In addition, a cheap TV tuner was also installed. This was done after the system was gifted to me when my housemate moved to a quad-core Windows 7 system. They get new stuff, I get to play with the old stuff. First, we need to use this guy on it. Although the machine has been well taken care of and kept clean, it still has a bit of dust that needs to be blown out. It's been a while since I've played with it, so it was no real surprise when it failed to power on. But a quick check with the power judge let me know that the power supply might not be good. Hopefully, this hasn't popped the motherboard. I have a newer power supply tester, which is more accurate. There's a bit of voltage fluctuation on multiple lines. This doesn't bode well. We'll do a teardown and clean everything up before we go farther. After removing the power supply, video and TV card, and the two removable drives, we can see a fairly clean looking motherboard. And although the camera can't focus cleanly, we can see the motherboard ID numbers. We'll go searching online to find out more about this puppy. System Max also left a nice sticker inside with the original hardware and software listed. My cell phone camera won't focus well enough, but the important information, the motherboard type, can be sussed out. The motherboard is an Intel D915GAG. It's a micro ATX board supporting Celeron and Pentium 4 CPUs. Since this was a discontinued model, I had to do a little digging to find the manuals and the specifications. The CPU is a Pentium 4 630. Sort of on the lower end, but since the machine wouldn't take anything better than a single core processor, we'll leave it alone. Since the system came with two half gig memory sticks, and the slots are all used up, I'm pretty sure we have two gigs total installed. That's pretty close to the maximum for a Windows XP system. For a hard drive, we have a 120 gig Seagate drive, which is appropriate for the age of the system. For removable drives, we have the original CD read-write drive and a DVD read-write drive that was added later. Since the new DVD drive is a SATA drive, we'll remove the CD drive to cut down on the messy cables inside. The TV tuner card was cheap and I bought it to play with a couple of years ago. It's pretty much useless, but I'll probably reinstall it because I don't have a better place to put it right now. The video card is the legendary NVIDIA GeForce 9500. Ooh. One of the better models of the 9000 series. This PCIe card comes with a full one gig of video memory. It was quite the thing for its time, I guess. It was another upgrade from the original onboard graphics. For replacement power supply, 
We've got an EVGA 450 watt bronze rated power supply from one of their scratch and dent sales. It works, so who cares if there's a little scratch on the side? Let's install it and power this puppy up. Or maybe not. Well, this sucks. It's not worth the time or the money buying a compatible motherboard just to test things. But wait! Let's drag out the Hero PC. This Dell Optiplex originally came with a Pentium 4 of the same family. Both motherboards are socket 775s. Let's swap parts into the Hero PC and check things out, starting with the CPU. Hmm, CPU not supported. It posts. Let's see if it boots. The hard drive is dual booted with Windows and Xubuntu. Let's see how far we can push this puppy. Windows gets this far, then crashes. Not a good sign. We got to a logon screen with Xubuntu, but no further. The CPU isn't supported by the motherboard, or it could have been damaged. We'll put the upgraded CPU back in, a dual core Pentium D, and the NVIDIA card. No luck here. XP won't even go into safe mode. I can safely say that Windows is borked. It just reboots the computer. But Xubuntu looks good. It's a shame I forgot the password. But never mind. The hard drive seems to work, and the NVIDIA card looks good. The Hero PC comes to the rescue again. It's a bit of a shame I couldn't rescue this computer, but even good power supplies go bad, and this one probably took out the CPU, or the motherboard, or the RAM, or all three. I'll toss all three. They're really too old to be bothered with. Although the hard drive is small, it still works, and the NVIDIA card is better than some I have on hand. The removable drives can be salvaged, and the case is nothing special, but hey, it's a case. I'm not going to spend any more time or money on this puppy. I gave it my best, but you can't save them all. Thanks for watching, and remember to always stay curious.